Hey, good morning again, all you uh, more right rudder types. It is Captain T, the Pilot to Pilot Network. After uh, weeks of uh, cold and snow and nasty and wind, we've got a day here that's uh, absolutely bluebird clear. No wind. That's the good news. The bad news is it's five degrees out. That's okay. We bundled up tidy. For Pappy is sleeping on the couch in the hangar. So it dawned on me, anybody that's been following me realizes that uh, you see a lot of pictures of me, a lot of videos of me taking off of bush strips and grass strips and short strips and they all got sod on them. And I've had the airplane two years. I haven't done three landings on hard surface. Two of them were successful. <laughs> so I uh, decided uh, this morning with a light breeze and a nice cool air, it'd be time to go do some flying. And quite, and quite possibly uh, play with some wheel landings on the hard surface. Uh, I'm not particularly scared of hard surface, but, you know, it's hard surface. <laughs> That's all I can say. After 45 years of flying everything under the sun, I'd still rather land in the grass. I'm a sick puppy. The Murphy is uh, left downwind, team. The numbers be doing the left base here shortly for runway one two. It ain't pretty, but it's done. Okay, okay, okay. Before you blow up the comments section, my first attempt at a wheel landing in the Murphy did not go as anticipated. A wheel landing, for those of you who maybe don't know, is a second technique for landing in a tail dragger aircraft. The first technique would be a full stall flared landing. The second technique would be a wheel landing where you land on the main gear only and the tail wheel doesn't touch the runway until the airspeed bleeds off. Wheel landings are very similar to float plane landings in that you fly the airplane onto the runway. Now the big trick to wheel landings that, that makes people nervous about them is if you learn to fly a tail dragger you learn full stall landings where you flare the aircraft to get rid of the airspeed you keep pulling back and pulling back and pulling back and your wise old instructor may have said never go forward never go forward never go forward don't do that never go forward don't push forward on that yoke that's good except if you're doing a wheel landing you fly the airplane onto the runway very gently and the minute the main gear touches the runway you give a little bit of forward pressure just to stick it they're a little faster typically for uh, better control and keeping that tail off the runway and they're also better in a crosswind in a lot of situations. So we did about eight wheel landings in the course of the video. The last couple were really good and the last one you see I believe is the last one that we did and it's quite good. So uh, I have no qualms about wheel landings anymore. And we do another one just for fun. to keep the old Murphy at about 60 for this maneuver. We, we fly a lot slower than that if we're landing in grass, but for this particular maneuver, we're gonna carry just a little more speed. We'll land up about 45 or 50, uh, but usually about 60 on the, on the final portion. 
Hannah Murphy, certain uh, final for uh, one, two, eight, six. So we got our 60, which is showing about 800 feet a minute down. It's a good thing to know if you're uh, practicing engine outs. Clear the throttle just a little bit. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. So we're gonna hold our 60 right down to the numbers here, and then, uh, well, we're down about 55 now. That's okay. We can get by with that. We're gonna see if we can do another uh, bang and go here. There's a wheel landing. <laughs> That's why we're doing them right there. Ah, just to fly by to say hello. These little uh, farm strips and private strips and so forth, uh, not a good idea. It's landable, but it's just not a good idea to land in there this time of year. Uh, you leave ruts in there and uh, in the snow. And if somebody's trying to fly skis, they'd have a, a dickens of a time with the ruts that you leave. So uh, we don't we don't mess with them. But just do a flyby, that's okay. We can get away with that. today I just don't understand why nobody's flying. I mean my buddy Bob was out this uh, Bell 47 but nobody's flying. There's nobody out here. It's a beautiful day to fly. Gorgeous. But you know that's just the way it is. So we're on left base here for one two. We'll see if we can uh, helicopter in there and make another decent landing. Maybe. Maybe. Never know. How about some flappage? All of it. There, it was a simulated engine failure type thing here. There's 60. And we got plenty of runway, so we're not gonna slip or anything. We're just gonna keep it coming down. Airplane like seven or eight hundred feet a minute down at sixty with all the stuff hanging out. Quite a deck angle, I'll tell you. Spooky. Yep, little crosswind there. We'll get a little uh, power in. Well, it's about time to put the toys away for the day. I've had an awful good time. Thank you all for coming along and <laughs> getting me over my hard service beer. Uh, it's been great. It's just like I remember it was. And like I said, they're not the prettiest, but they work just fine. And I'm sure the more I do, the better they'll get. That's the way with aviation. Hey, we're paying attention. We love each and every one of you. If you're liking the videos, go ahead, and punch that big red subscribe button. Just get it over with. We'll see you on the next one. For now, it's Captain T. So long.